hey, check out this calendar layout. You, I'm sure you could imagine it as a component, whatever framework you like, right? That's got some times and dates across the top and places where, <clears throat> you know, there's events or whatever. And I think this works pretty effectively as a component at this size because it's just easy to scan the day and scan up and down and compare what times different things exist. But, you know, you don't always have that kind of horizontal space in a component. So as it's a responsive component, as it gets narrow, there's a point where it's just a little too much and it collapses down and then it collapses down again if it's, you know, really narrow space. So kind of three major breakpoints that happen could be more whatever, you know, it's responsive design. And what's happening here is I'm changing the entire viewport to do that. So you could do that using you know, not particularly new CSS with media queries. It's just that this particular component is designed with container queries. Let's just take a quick look at how that's done. For one thing, this is, a, you know, a, basically a flex box style layout. So these rows essentially are a flex across. And then the day of events, you know, Monday, Tuesday, whatever, they are grouped into a grid-like layout. Um, just at this particular breakpoint because, you know, the rows have particular heights and I can position things and span things across the rows of the grid. Pretty nice. But then as it collapses, because Monday is already grouped, I can keep the grid layout, but start ignoring the rows and not making these events any taller just because of how long they span, but have the columns matter more where the first column is the day and then it just stacks the events. And then it gets to the point where everything is pretty much just display block down, but I have some control over the spacing and such there. So again, three, uh, two major breakpoints, I guess, three different layouts for that. But uh, uh, I'm not really selling it here so much because I am just moving the entire viewport. So one of the things I did was uh, make this alternate version of it that uses a, and I'll link this up, a split panel web component. So instead of you know changing the actual viewport, you can see that the viewport staying the same, but as I move this bar that came via the web component, um, it's still hitting those breakpoints, uh, right? So that's kind of the proof that the container query is working. Although I say proof, you know, so anyway, there's no JavaScript powering this all. This layout, by way of, of, of credit and interestingness, came from a Philip Walton demo from uh, way back in 2018, long before container queries existed. He blogged talking about alternative techniques for it, one was a JavaScript technique that could observe the size of the component, change, I think, data attributes or class names on that component, and then, and then the CSS would respond to it. So this is pretty much the exact same layout that he did. I, I didn't uh, copy any code, uh, but I, I, I rethought it from scratch. Uh, but I did, you know, take the, the total idea and the content from this. And you can see that he put that resizer in there as well in this thing from half a decade ago, showing off how important kind of responsive components can be and how they need to react to the own, their own space that they're in, not the entire window, because who knows where you're going to put it. it. You could be putting it as a sidebar on a page with big other content, or it could be a full page component. Who knows? That's the point of container queries. So if we're looking at that code one more time, where they break, and I am using native CSS nesting here. You can see SCSS is not active here on CodePen. There is first the first thing you got to do is um, have some kind of container element wrapping around it. I could have made the dot calendar the container too, but then you can't style the calendar itself. Then you can't style the thing that is the container. So I think a decent practice is just to have a wrapping component around the whole thing whose only job it is is to be the container. That way you can style anything else inside of it, including the calendar itself. And then I can write a container query. I'm referencing it by name here. I wouldn't necessarily have to do that, but I find naming components is a pretty good practice as well. And then at the particular breakpoint there, <clears throat> for, I'm just taking that what was a flex box situation and uh, <clears throat> making it just fall down to display block. But each of the day of events then 
Uh, it remains display grid, but I stop caring about the rows and set up those columns the way I want them to be and add a little space between the days. Notice I'm using um, some logical properties to do that. And then the tiny little breakpoint too, just a little bit more display block stuff going on. We kind of give up on fancy layout at all, just changing a little bit of typography and sizing and stuff to make use of that space even more. So that's it, a container query thing. There's no JavaScript at all powered here. This is just a, a simple component uh, that reacts to the size that it has. That's how awesome container queries are.